I love the hair, even though, to be honest, this hair, is it like a signature thing in Holland? Every queen and their auntie has this wig. It's a new day in the workroom and the last day in the workroom, officially for Drag Race Holland. I can't believe it's over already. Wink, wink. Actually, I'm glad. It's been a rough season. Uh, don't forget, guys, to like, comment, share, subscribe. I am still looking to get to that goal of 5,000 subscribers, so help me get there. Also, if you want the full video of me talking about what happened in the episode, go over to my Patreon. The link is in the description below. This video is me talking about the runways and the runways only. Let's get into it. At the top of the episode, the eliminated queens are back to walk the runway one final time in their best drag. And child, <laughs> there's no wonder some of these hoes did not make it to the finale. First up, we have Juicy Couture. I am not living for any of this for your best drag. If this is the best drag, then what happened on day one should have happened. Pretty in the face. Great body, personality, love her. But it's just not what I expect for someone's best drag who's made it on Drag Race. And she has such a following online. She's so young, so with it, so fashion forward. I feel like she could have pushed herself a little bit more. Uh, the hair is cute. I do love a high ponytail with a, with a drag queen, so that's always nice. But this looks more like an unconventional design challenge more than your best drag. Reggie B. I've missed seeing this queen on the show. Uh, Reggie B looks beautiful. I love the hair. I love the face. I will say that the dress itself, uh, though it's flowy, it's not very innovative. It's not very grand and it's a thigh high pleather boot. So eh. Love Masisi will always come with a gag and I live for that. I really wish they gave the queens more time to walk the runway because she had such a cool costume. It inflated, it curved, it was giving me dimensions and ooey gooey crazy space stuff, but they made it so quick. But anyways, love the outfit, love the hair, face is painted to death, love this look. Ivy Elise Monroe, the lip sync assassin of season two of Holland's Drag Race. Um. It's not fit, the fit's not great. The face is good. I even like the wig, even though it makes, there's something off about this. The wig fits weird on her head and the jacket's a little too bulky. I don't know. I feel like there's a fit issue going on with the entire look. So I'm gonna say no to this. I'm really surprised that this is the Countess's best drag because the Countess has so many amazing outfits. And to be honest, what I've seen her in on the show is better than what I'm seeing today. This is a really cute Vegas number, but it's very simple. It's like too simple for me and for what I expect from the Countess. Come through Tabitha with the beautiful painting of your face on the back. I love it. It's giving me Andy Warhol. Uh, Tabitha looks snatched. She looks beautiful. I love the hair on her. The shape is really great. I love this color. Make the pink and the yellow goes well all the time. So this is one of my favorite looks from Tabitha. I'm really happy to see this. Kita Minaj, the true winner of RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm joking. I love the hair. I love the hair on this outfit. I don't understand why it looks like she has painted whiskers on her face. I don't get Catwoman from this look, but I feel like the dress itself, the outfit, it's very, it's very artistic, it's avant-garde. I love it a lot, but I don't get the face makeup, with the whiskers, that's throwing me for a loop. But everything else is really well done. I love the black, the silver, the white, everything about it, the design element, the cuts, all of that, beautiful. Vivaldi has showed up and shown out multiple times on this runway but tonight was no exception. She looks amazing. It's a concept. I love the color combinations. Sometimes when a look looks really nice from the front, the back disappoints. I wasn't disappointed by any 
version of the look I saw from whatever viewpoint. I love the hair, even though to be honest, this hair, is it like a signature thing in Holland? Every queen and their auntie has this wig. Uh, but she looks cute. Her makeup's always flawless. I love the design of this. It looks very avant-garde. Like it's giving what it's supposed to give for a finale look, you know? Not every finale look needs to be a big, beautiful gown. I would like to see them push the envelope with the fashion and with the art. And this is really doing it for me. Vanessa looks stunning, okay? First of all, I never thought I'd see the day with Vanessa walk on the runway without a wig. Because, you know, she's really insecure about her hairline, so I thought she'd always have on a lace wig and all of that. But Vanessa bald, this just shows how beautiful of a, like her face is ridiculous. I love this entire gold ensemble. I love the headpiece, the halo around it. I think it looks expensive. It looks like a lot of thought and detail was put into it. Every single part of the outfit goes together. It's a cohesive look. I love the gold leaves for her eyebrows, her contour, her head. Everything is just perfect. Like there's not a hair out of place, pun intended. My Little Pony, again with these squiggly wigs. Everyone in Holland must have been a sailor or something. I love this. I love the color combination. I love the big sleeves. It's really cute. I love the drama of it all. Uh, it, it's a really good finale look. Like there's nothing bad about it. I, Yeah, there's nothing bad about it. And I love what she has on underneath. It's not a basic leotard. It's really done up. It looks really expensive and i know a lot of you think that drag it doesn't need to look expensive all the time but when i'm watching you on tv and you're competing i want to know that whoever is competing is the best of the best and the best of the best has the best of the best and you can be a queen on a budget and still look really polished and this looks very polished i love her face her face is beautiful it's always beat uh body on 10. i love everything about this look so from the top three girls, Vanessa Vivaldi and My Little Pony, Vivaldi had to sashay away because she did not cut it for top two. <laughs> I'm just being dramatic, guys. Relax. Uh, also, Vanessa had to lip sync against My Little Pony. The lip sync was great. At the end of the day, Vanessa reigns supreme because she is the new reigning queen of Holland. Yes, I love to see it. Uh, congratulations to Vanessa for winning the crown this year. You are a really formidable queen. You deserve it all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and go over to my Patreon for more exclusive content. Love you guys so much. Bye. Hey, beautiful humans. You've made it this far in this video. Why not subscribe to my Patreon? You can sign up for exclusive content I don't post on YouTube or support me making content for this channel. Speaking of, why don't you watch another video?